gentlemen, and welcome to the final episode of the season for Flag Friday. And I hope you learned a lot this year. I hope you learned more than what you knew before you started the school year, when you started the school year. And I hope you learned a lot going through the school year until today. And after today, next week is the absolute final week for Black Friday altogether when we end the year on the wild card week. And we still have a few spots left for the All-Star team and for the ice cream party, which I am trying to plan right now for all the All-Stars. And I want to say thank you again. This has been a fun year. And our first full season of Black Friday. And I'm looking forward to it actually working over the summer, getting some things done and doing some extra work on the program and come back next year, hit the ground running on a better opportunity and probably hopefully more interaction and more fun activities for this year coming up. So for before we go into this week, we're going to reverse to last week. And the answer for last week was the state of Nevada. And how I told you that I have no personal or military ties in the state of Nevada. But my little sister and a friend, yeah, she moved out and joined me. Both came back and now I'm living here in the Northeast of Massachusetts. So, like I said before, this is our final full week of Black Friday. And this was a great, great year, I think. I um, had a fun time doing everything for you all. You know, giving you the clues and getting the answers back and getting the guesses and having flag of the day requests and the week and all that. That was all very fun for me. And it was interesting. And I hope it was fun for you as well. And I look forward to continuing, continuing this for one more week and going into the following year. So, I want to thank you for that. We continue on for this week, and this week was the U.S. state. Now, with all the clues you were given, of course, with this being the last week, I had to make a little challenge for you. Couldn't make it too easy. Now, I take the fun out of it. So, I use presidents, and I use other clues to try to get you to your final answer. And you probably saw a little bit of curveball in there, I believe it was Tuesday, where I would say, after you list all the 13 original colonies, cross out the state that you live in. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people live in Vermont. Well, Vermont wasn't originally 13 colonies, but it was part of York. So, some people crossed off New York anyway, some didn't. But that's fine. The idea was to have different notes of different answers going into this week. But you probably found out you ended up crossing off the state of New York anyway. So, with all of that, after you list the 13 original colonies, cross out the state that you live in, and then you had to go through the presidents, which president had connection to the state, which was somewhat confusing, which I can understand. Then one of the big clues I think threw people off was name a U.S. state that played a huge, significant role during World, World War One. And 80%, I believe, of the workforce or of the state's resources was put towards this war. You didn't find out the state was U.S. The U.S. state was Connecticut. You had to eliminate Connecticut for that clue alone. Then you had to go to yesterday and eliminate a couple more. And then once you did that, then you had to find me for your clue for today. Now, I realize I would probably say don't know the exact percentage, but to give you a rough idea, I would probably say 95% of people answered with one state 
which was actually their neighbor, neighboring state. Mm. Yeah, it was a tough one. And then I threw you for a loop on that one a little bit. And you probably know what answer you gave. And uh, I would know now that wasn't the right one. And I believe it came down to like a 50-50 or 75% chance of which one would be the right answer. Maryland had to be crossed off the list as well. So he was left with maybe two states left after everything for a whole week. So which answer did you come up with? If you didn't put it in, which answer did you think it was? Well, I'm going to go grab the flag in a few minutes, and when I return, we will see what the final answer was. Just give me a minute. Move the hat there. Created this hat. This will be my Flat Friday hat. Not exactly one of the items I'm going to raffle off. The item that I want to raffle off has not shown up yet. As I said, I think last week or week before, there's part of supply chain issues, so I won't be able to raffle off everything that I want to raffle off to you. So I might be able to raffle off only one item. Other items will be coming in probably after school, so I have to figure out what to do with that. So, do you know what answer it is for today, final flag Friday of the season? Well, I to reveal it to you. Three, two, one. Da, 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 da. What we're we looking at here. We're looking at the U.S. state of South Carolina. South Carolina is your answer for today's clue. Now, how many thought North Carolina was your answer? Wonder where you got North Carolina from. Hmm. I say the clue about the World War One probably tripped up a lot of people because. One student explained that was the reason why they came over to North Carolina. It was actually the state of Connecticut. So your answer for this week would be the U.S. state of South Carolina. And if you remember, Mrs. Unflick, this is her state right here, South Carolina. She spent time in Virginia as well. Old Southern girl. And I have a personal family connection with South Carolina. I have family relatives down there that live by the University of South Carolina Gamecocks. Not sure if they're still there. Still there now, but last time I remember, which was years ago. That's where I remember seeing the stadium turn down the road and boom, they were work. So South Carolina is your answer for this week, final answer for this year. South Carolina. Palmetto and the hat and the crescent moon. And to pick it back off of that, with this being the final week, there have been some winners for I'd like to announce that Mr. Johnson probably has already announced as well. So going to pick it back off of that as well. And some of you already know who you are. For the overall winner for the school and for winning the gold medal, remember what I mentioned earlier in the year, you could win the gold, silver, and bronze medal. But this is the time that I will announce it. We, I know now that the gold medal has been secured by fifth grader Gianna. Congratulations to Gianna. She has now won the gold medal for Flag Friday. And the silver and bronze medal are still up for grabs. We have Gianna won the gold. We have Veda in second. We have 
Bella in third, and John in fourth. All within two tickets of each other. So, probably at the end of this week, probably by Monday, we should know the winners of the silver and bronze medal. And also want to congratulate Ms. Birch's class for winning the Board of Directors Division, being the best class in the school. Mr. Minor finished second, and Ms. McGuire finished third. And Gianna also won the STEM division for fifth grade. And a few more, a couple more divisions to go. We're still up in the year for sixth grade. Right now, Bella has that lead, so she can hold on to it to win that division also. But I want to say again, thank you for you all attending, participating, and sticking with me for the entire year, our second season of Flag Friday, which is now part of Flag Academics. So we'll have Flag Friday and another portion called the Educational Forum. Still working on the kinks and the details for everything, but that's what we have now. So Flagademics is now going to host Black Friday and the educational form. The educational form is what you have been seeing all year. Flag of the day, information, flag of the week, flag of the month. And someone said flag of the year. Not sure exactly how we do that, but... When you have educational forms, you have been actually seeing it all year. And you already know what Flag Friday is. It's just now another portion of Flag Academics. And again, I want to thank the Niski Unit School District, the elementary schools there that joined and participated. I had a lot of fun. I'm happy to join. I still need to know who got the tickets who got the most tickets in your school, so I have a war to get. I want to make sure you get them. And for the one school in North Colony District as well, I like to, if you can keep it track, I would like to know the final stats for that as well for the Flat Friday. And as I said, for the absolute final week, next week is Wild Card Week, where you will have just that one day to give me your answer after you get the clue first thing in the morning. And once you do that, you won't know the answer to the next day. So, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Thank you for, for participating. And it's not too late to join and subscribe to my videos here. I'm looking at also having a Black Friday summer school program, which still working on what to do with that. It's kind of a not a last minute, but kind of one of those things as I'm trying to reorganize everything and do things. What can I do during the summer? So if you want to also keep following, learning more, follow me during the summer. You never know what you might learn. So again, thank you very much. I hope you had fun. I hope you continue to participate. I hope I get to see you again soon and join me next year. Even if you're in sixth grade and you're going to middle school, you can still follow along. So I want to say everybody continue to be responsible, continue to be respectful, continue to be safe. If you want to know more and continue following, just hit the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen and you'll be alerted each and every time Black Friday video is posted. So. Until next year, or until the rest of the day, I don't see the rest of the day. Have a good Memorial Day weekend. I am working Monday, so I won't have Monday off. I'll have the weekend with other things going on. And enjoy your weekend. Stay hydrated. Have fun. Get ready for Wild Card Week coming up, and then the final week of the school year. Hopefully around there, if they have the ice cream party for all the All-Stars and Division winners. So... Again, have a good one, stay safe, join back, and I will see you next year.